Okay, so in this question, we have to find out the order of increasing stretching frequencies in the carbonyl complexes given over here. They are all tetrahedral complexes. And uh, this is something maybe we have discussed in our class lectures. Okay. Question is from the topic of Sinner gistic effect okay first thing uh, over here the rule was what more electron rich the metal which means that is more the low oxidation state of metal more will be the electron donation to the antibonding orbital of CO and so the bond order of CO will decrease. Bond order decrease means stretching frequency decrease. That is what we no okay because your stretching frequency is nothing but 1 by 2 pi root over k by mu where mu is the reduced mass k is the force constant okay so that is what we have from the hooke's law so out here just let us calculate the log addition state so for nickel it is zero for iron it is minus 2 for cobalt it is minus 1 for copper it is plus 1 so obviously the high stretching frequency should be for copper and the lowest should be for iron so for that if you see we can find that the option B is the correct answer now if anybody was willing to know how this is happening the metal backbonding then one should know that for co this is the structure in which when sigma donation happens it uses this lobe which is obviously the sp lobe having the uh, electron and for the metal there is this dz square lobe in which it can donate the electron via a sigma donation whereas for pi donation or so this is the bonding now for back bonding the metal has d orbitals which are of similar shape and energy to that of the carbonyl pi star antibonding orbitals okay and that how the electron from a low oxidation state metal or electron rich metal can be donated back to the pi star of the co so more this back donation back donation okay to pi star orbital less the stretching frequency that is the theory i hope that clarifies uh, this question that was asked thanks for listening have a great day